Have yourself a merry little whatever you celebrate. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas and make the Yuletide gay. Hey, from now on, our troubles will be miles away. As in olden days, happy golden days of yore. Faithful friends who once did to us will gather near to us once more. The years we all will be together. If the face, okay, that's enough. Allow. Good morning. Good afternoon. Welcome to the mental house. Um, New Year's Eve edition. How about that? You know, I want to make an assertion, or no, better yet, I want to hold us accountable for those, and no, no, no I want to hold y'all, those who are not receptive to spiritual, who thinking that is valid, spiritual abuse. I want y'all to do a better job in 2024 of getting in touch with your mentals. For those of y'all who think that spiritual abuse is not real, it doesn't happen, um, you guys really, really need to do some self-inventory. Now, there's a good percentage of of people who are in spiritual leadership or I would say religious leadership who are predators who are molesters oh yeah I said it I I want you to get mad about it those of y'all who are upset because I mentioned James Cleveland or Eddie Long leaders in the community who are religious and now allegedly you got some tapes with uh, T.D. Jakes on it. Well, let me, by the way, I remember a long time ago, God bless the dead, Denise, she told me, she said, I don't really know. And Denise, by the way, was a sex worker. Okay? She's no longer with us. And uh, I remember her saying, um, I'm going to tell you something. And she's a very good, very good, uh, you know, she has a very good perception of sexual energy. Okay? And she could pretty much look at a person even if they didn't, um, outwardly show signs of what they were representing, she would figure it out. She always knew. It was really weird. It was uncanny to me. And what was was even more uncanny to me is whenever she saw T.D. Jakes, you know what the first thing she would always say? You know, I, I really don't feel him. You know, he might got a message. She said, but uh, mm, I can't see past um, 
you know, what he liked to do. And I'm like, what? Because I had never heard that before. Okay? Now, one thing about <laughs> anybody to tell you that if you've ever been around anybody gay, okay, and especially males, um, once they find out that you gay, they're going to come and kind of like infiltrate the environment to be seen. That's just what they do. And if they really bad queens, then they'll, um, well, that's another story. I ain't going to even get into that. But, and I noticed that he he would have people from miles around that always wanted uh, some of my gay friends, wanted to get to his church. Oh, we going to. I got to go visit the potter's house. I got, uh, but I never put two and two together, and I never thought about it until these accusations just came out. I want you to know right now, if you're being molested by your pastor, and he got a scripture that says that God is going to take down the wheat and the chaff, or he got a specific verbiage for to act and to justify whatever they're doing to you, you have to get help. It's wrong. If you sit in the Catholic church somewhere and a priest is molesting you, and if you are what they call altar boy, it's wrong. These places are full of spiritual abuse and it makes it very difficult for people to go on and live a normal life. I don't give a damn if you're mad at me at all. If I will go through half of my friends, especially those who are in the industry or been exposed to um, real, real deep church environment, most of them admit they've been molested by somebody before they even knew what the hell molestation was. Before they even knew what was going on with their bodies. I got proof. Okay? Them. Them is my proof. And I'm tired of everybody talking about you need Jesus and you got these pastors running around judging everybody and talking about this, that, and the other. Like, who put you in a position of God? All I'm saying is, God don't no, hate you because you gay. Okay? That's that's not the... But people will take advantage of you, and people will hate you because you gay. Okay? Now, but they could be a pedophile, and they could be heterosexual. That's not okay. If you're an old man and you're messing around with a young girl who's young enough to be your granddaughter, that person is spiritually abused. When they come out from one of those kind of incestuous environments, I pray they get the help that they need. Like all of y'all broke off that sent me that letter and those uh, complaints about what I said about Reverend Bevel. I meant what I said. R Reverend Bevel, Reverend, Rem. I know he did some good work. I'm not negating that. What I am talking about, though, is the bad shit that he did. And that was, it was found in court that he molested his daughters. What the hell wrong with y'all? So, and if I mention that James Cleveland mentioned or uh, uh, molested his foster sons and young men in the church and uh, people in my church and all over America, y'all get mad at me because he could sing P. What the? F Black people, those, I'm speaking to y'all specifically. Y'all need to check y'all self. Spiritual. If, Abuse does exist, okay? Yes, the act is physical and sexual abuse, but the spiritual abuse that that does, the way it kills your spirit with somebody in high place, a wicked person, does something like that to you, 
is not to be underestimated. So I don't know. I want to know what y'all think about it because I'm not letting y'all go into 20, 2024 with these with this madness and without calling it out. Never again. So if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.